Thanks, Eddie. Yes, Coach, you won by a lot again. Congrats. <laughs> um, Eddie Pels from AP. After they made their one three-pointer, you hopped off the bench and called a timeout. I know you were in quite a, a, Front. La a lather that. <laughs> but, I mean, was that specifically about, like, making sure we don't – this doesn't become a trend? Well, that was a, that was a late clock a mistake. Um, uh, you know, Braden had it with three on the clock. And he used the ball screen, and uh, in such a late, you know, late shot clock situation, like Donovan needed to get up there high and eliminate the attempt. But um, you know, just the, the game plan and, and Luke, you know, Luke for for a day and a half prep uh, to have us as ready as he did uh, defensively for that game was just impressive. We, we obviously, you know, we, we didn't want to give up threes. We, we didn't care if Zach, uh, you know, took 25, 28 shots to get. 30, 35 points. The, the, this whole game plan was like no Smith, no Lawyer, uh, no Gillis, no Jones. You know, keep that collective group under 18, 20 points as a group. They had no chance to win, no matter how well Zach played. Up front, Pete. Uh, Dan, Pete Thamel from ESPN. Uh, you won your six games in this tournament by 140 points. That's more than any team. You really haven't backed away as you've dominated through this, t speaking to, of your dominance. So I'm just curious. Do you feel like this is a historic team, and do you feel like this is one of the greatest teams of all time? Um, I, th I think it's, I think it's up there in terms of the greatest two-year runs that a program's maybe ever had. Just because, um, you know, I don't want to. <laughs> I, I guess I can't say anything about Duke because I'm going to piss my brother off. Um, but I guess I could say stuff about Florida. <laughs> but I love Billy Donovan, so I'm in a bad spot. Um, I just think it, 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 it's, it's the best two-year run, I think, in a very, very long time, just because uh, of everything we lost from last year's team. Um, to lose that much and, and, again, to do what we did again, uh, you know, it, it's got to be as, two, uh, as, as, as impressive a two-year run as the program's had uh, since prior to whoever did it before Duke. Um, to me, it is more impressive than what Florida and Duke did um, b because they brought back their entire teams. And, you know, we, we, uh, you know, we, lost, <laughs> we lost some major players. To the left of the aisle, Coach, Field of 68. Dan, Mike Miller, Field of 68. I'll give you an opening after where Jay Wright said it was the most dominant team he can remember. So that gives you a chance there. Does that, is that what you're going to be making your mark on? Dominance, nothing but dominance. Is that going to be the standard going forward? Is it a standard you can reach every year? Yeah, um, you know, I know, you know things are going to be a little crazy for the next ten days. Um, unfortunately, you know, we're, we're going to head into the portal. Um, like everybody else now, I've been dreading this moment, uh, <laughs> but now we're here. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll enjoy this for a couple of days, but then, um, you know, we're going to. You know, on the flight home tomorrow, we'll start talking about, you know, what the roster is going to look like. Obviously, we graduate some players. We're going to lose a couple, potentially, to the NBA early entry, and and uh, you know, we're going to dive in and, and and put together a roster that 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 will can play a comparable level of basketball uh, to the one that you guys have witnessed the last two years. That's I know what our mindset will be. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to be focusing on trying to put together, you know, a, a three-year run, not just a two-year run. Front row on the left side, Coach. Hi, Coach. Jake Fenner, Daily Mail. Um, to piggyback off of a previous question, to accomplish this feat in this era of the NIL and the transfer portal, it almost could be considered something entirely different and entirely particularly special with the way the landscape currently is. Do you think that winning two in a row in this era is something that could be replicated again? And do you think that because you won in this era, it deserves to be held in a different regard? Yeah, I mean, I think that's probably for you guys to decide. I think, you know, it's obviously it's a special run. Um, and, yeah, I mean, shit, we're, we're going to try and replicate it again. <laughs> you know, we're, we're going to... Um, you know, we're, we're, we're going to maintain a championship culture. Uh, we, we brought in, we're bringing in some very talented high school freshmen. Uh, our returning players through player development will take a big jump. 
and it will strategically add through the portal. So um, yeah, I don't think that, that we're going anywhere. Front row, left. Brett Friedlander, SaturdayRoad.com. Dan, you mentioned your brother. Uh, he, he won back-to-back -back titles as a player. You've done it as a coach now. And could you put in perspective how incredible that is that two guys in the same family have done this? And <laughs> you know, what does it mean to your family? Yeah, it's incredible. I think uh, you know, it's, it's incredible uh, to join Bob in that club. You know, and it just to, you know, Bob was in the arena tonight. He wanted to kind of stay out of the out of the camera lens, so it was you know he was in a he was in a box, <laughs> uh, you know, enjoying uh, you know the comfort of that tonight. So it was just awesome to have him here for that. And then obviously my dad, you know, it's like my dad. I think he looks at me and he looks at my brother and he sees us coaching in college and what would what it would have looked like, you know, for him if if he was doing it. Um, you know, so I know it means a lot to me and Bob to, you know, to again, you know, we're the version of my father that would be coaching in college. We're even after back to back for me, I'm still just a worse version of him. Up front on the left side, a little bit worse. Yeah. I'm getting better, <laughs> and I'm coming for him. Michelle Gardner, Arizona Republic. We've asked you about the potential to repeat. Now that you've done it, Dan. Does this feel different? It doesn't. It really doesn't. Um, uh, I mean, it, it's the same, you know, feeling that, that you have. You know, you you just feel so light right now. Um, and, and you know what, though? Maybe it feels a little bit better because it's like the last thing, knowing how great this team's been, we've taken, you know, you know we, we've worn the everything shirt the whole year. Um, and we just, everyone in this organization gave everything so that we could win everything this year. You know, the MTE that we were in, the Big East regular season, the Big East tournament, the regional and, and, and the national championship. So we wanted to give everything so that we could win absolutely everything. And the thought of like Cam Spencer and Steph Castle in, in their, their short window of time with us, um, not to experience a national championship like we all have felt you know, once we realized how good the team was, that became a little bit of a pressure point. You know, it would have, have sucked today to have, you know, blue and, blue and yellow confetti, uh, and we'll have to walk off that court with Cam Spencer and Steph Castle. Likely the final question on the left side, left of the aisle, Dan. Dan Walken, USA Today. Uh, Dan, I, I hope I don't misquote you, but you said out on the court something about UConn giving you all the resources you need. Um, can we interpret that to mean you intend to be back at UConn next year? You're not going to entertain any conversations <laughs> with anybody else that might have a job coming open tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think that's a concern. <laughs> you know, my wife, uh, you should have her answer that. <laughs> yeah. We can maybe arrange a press conference for Mrs. Hurley in the morning. Congratulations, Coach. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, she'll, she'll answer that question better than I can. Yeah, shit. <laughs> We'd, we'd like to yeah, congratulate so Coach and thank him for all the time he spent here in the okay. main interview room all week. Not a lot of mobility on Zagoria. <laughs> Whoa! I almost hit the trophy, man.